Just give us one more for the level. One, two, three, four. Welcome to Pakistan, Pat. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I'd like, uh, do you think that uh, there will be no disquiet in the camp, in the Australian camp, and they'll be able to play a ruthless cricket, uh, the brand of cricket that they are known for? Uh, yeah, we hope so. Um, you know, I was really proud with how our team played uh, throughout the Ashes summer um, back home in Australia. And now that's the challenge to try and um, continue on that form, be just as relentless um, now on an overseas tour. Um, we obviously haven't seen these conditions before, but yeah, it's great to be here. It's, you know, feel really comfortable and just excited to get underway now. Clint Stanaway, please, Channel 9. Oh, hey, Pat. Um, good luck, mate. I just want to know more about safety. Obviously, uh, the, the locals have gone to great measures to keep you guys safe. Do you feel safe and are you satisfied with the sort of... Um, you know, protocols that have been put in place. Yeah, and no, I absolutely feel incredibly safe. Um, we've been really well looked after by, um, you know, the PCB um, upon arrival. Um, yeah, lots of security um, straight off the plane, straight to the hotel. So I feel, feel really, really safe. Um, yeah, got a good setup here at the hotel. Um, we'll pretty much be confined to the hotel other than on um, games and training. We'll be, um, you know, obviously at the stadium. Um, but no, it feels, feels really good. Um, you know, we've tra travelled to India and places like that a lot where you, you probably don't leave the hotel too much, so we're used to it. Andrew McKinley, please. Channel 7. G'day, Pat. Just a, a follow-up to Clint. Um, we're getting reports back here now of up to 4,000 police surrounding the hotel, um, escorts for the buses as you came in from Islamabad Airport. Um, is that comforting? Or concerning, and that, is it comforting from a point of view that you can just concentrate solely on cricket? Uh, no, it's yeah, comf comforting. Um, yeah, you know, really lucky to be surrounded by so many professionals. Um, so, yeah, that was one of the big, I guess, factors that we wanted to um, be really, th really thorough on. Uh, you know, before arriving here, um, was not only security but biosecurity, and yeah, everyone's done a fantastic job. So. We feel like, yeah, we're here, we can just concentrate on the cricket. Um, there's lots of things going on around which might be a little bit different to what we're used to, uh, but we know it's been taken care of, so we can just, um, yeah, really enjoy our first tour here in 24 years, and, yeah, there's, there's no distractions other than the cricket. Thank you. Mir uh, Shabar Ali of uh, Dawn, please. Yeah, thank you. Hi, Pat, and welcome to Pakistan. Thank you. So I wanted to ask, uh, what has finally changed the perception of the country after years of uh, uncertainty uh, in the players' minds about uh, Pakistan? And uh, has Pakistan's on-field performances contributed to uh, it being taken more seriously in the recent times? Oh, you know, I think we've always known that Pakistan's an incredible cricket nation. Um, you know, we feel lucky that, um, you know, we get to, to come back here after basically a whole generation didn't get the, that opportunity to, to come over and play a test match uh, or any cricket over here. I think, you know, over the last few years, it's slowly been, um, you know, slowly had more and more cricket. Um, even, you know, George Bailey here, who's our selector, came and played a couple of days a few years ago. Obviously, the PSL's been hu hugely successful over the last few years. So I think, um, you know, a combination of having more and more cricket here um, has meant that you know, not only can we get back here to, to play a game, but you know, we've got three test matches, ODIs, a T20, um, to, to come back and have a full tour, which is just yeah, tremendous. Um, and yeah, we, we know how fantastic Pakistan have always been. Um, you know, we're fortunate that they've come out to play us in Australia, so it, it's great we can um, you know, return the favour and, and play here. Moe Shah, please, for the news. cricket watching Australia live on their uh, in, on, on grounds for say weak or fake reasons uh, I, I will say rather uh, so what message do you have for fans in Pakistan cricket fans in Pakistan for the test series especially uh, you know I think that's one of the the things that makes me so excited to be over here is just the fans um, you, you know we, we when we whenever we come over to play in the subcontinent the fans are just um, you know, so different to Australia they're, they're loud 
um, they're really passionate and I'm sure Pakistan's going to be no different. So, um, yeah, it's great. We're going to have crowds. Just I just urge everyone that can come along, um, come and watch. Um, yeah, it's, you know, it's the first test matches between the two countries over here in, in 20 odd years. So um, it's a special moment. We feel privileged as players. So, yeah, hopefully the fans can enjoy it and, yeah, make some noise. Adris Malik, please. Adris, are you there? Hi, and welcome to Pakistan and hope so. This should be a very good tour for you people. Uh, last time uh, against Australia, Abbas and Yasser, both were the real threat for Australia. But both are absent now in the Pakistan team. So is it a really, a really advantage for the Australia with the seven key players who already played against Pakistan, but Pakistan has only two, Azhar Ali and the Babur Azhar. Yeah, sorry, who were those two players at the start you mentioned weren't, weren't playing? Sorry, I missed those names. Abbas and Yasser. Abbas, oh, okay, Abbas yes. Was, uh, yeah. And Yasser was the spinner. Yeah, I think they, they um, you know, might be in the reserve um, squad, so you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they, they come in at some stage. But um, yeah, I think you know, one thing with the Pakistan uh, team is that you, you've always got a lot of young guys that come through and, and shine straight away. So you've, you've seen a lot of fast bowlers in recent years have, have stood up in you know, especially white ball cricket. Um, so it's a new challenge and, and some, um, you know, some, some batsmen that we haven't played a lot against. Um, so, you know, we, we've done a bit of research and we'll look deeper as we get, go close to the games. But I think that's one of the exciting things is, um, you, you know, you know most international players, you know most international conditions. This series comes with a few more unknowns than perhaps normally. So, um, yeah, it, it's going to be interesting. Um, you know, I'm a big believer in making sure our own game's in order. So, um, yeah, just look back to as much, you know, probably as far back as just this Ashes series and just think, you know, what a great great form and um, way we played. Uh, so, yeah, we'll probably be looking at that style of play more more so than any of the opposition we might come up against. Christy Thanks. Doran. Thank you very much, Idris. Christy Doran, please, Fox Sports. Thanks very much, Pat. Um, tell me, just some of those unknowns that you're talking about and keeping, you know, looking after yourselves, first of all, um, First overseas tour in a long while. Um, tell me, how does uh, all of that kind of, um, when it comes to selection, how does that change it? Um, does it change it at all? And do you think underneath uh, yourself as captain that continuity is something that you would like or is it more of a horses, courses approach? And, and just how does it change with um, Justin Langer leaving the, the, the selection around, around the team? And I think it all? Oh, yeah. I, think, I think it's striking that balance. Um... You know, you, you want to pick your, your best 11 side, um, you know, for each game in unknown conditions. I mean, the, the real changes over here in the subcontinent are normally the conversation around two spinners or, um, you know, or three quicks. Um, but no, you know, we'll, we'll get out to the ground in the next few days and have a look. Um, you know, th th there are some unknowns, but there's also been some test cricket played here. And, um, you know, we feel really confident in our squad. We've got all cases, uh, all bases covered. Um, but yeah, I think you, know, you don't need to look into it too deeply unless the conditions really, really are telling you something else. Um, yeah, how you know jail will change? Um, yeah, I'm not sure to be honest. Um, you know, Andrew McDonald will, will come in as um, as interim coach and have a have a seat at that table. So um, yeah, I doubt you'll be seeing any huge changes. Dan Bredick, please. G'day, Pat. Um, welcome to Pakistan. Um, I've uh, Got a couple for you. First one, um, can you just talk about how handy it's going to be to have Fawad Ahmed, uh, Ahmed around? Um, obviously, someone who uh, has been playing in the PSL knows Pakistan um, very well, but also has you know a lot of good relationships with your guys. And then secondly, just um, how much of a challenge it is to be um, uh, only having basically four clear days between your arrival and playing a test match you know, at the other end of a long-haul flight. I can't, can't seem to remember you doing that before. Yeah, it's going to be great to have Fuzzy back around the squad. Um, I haven't actually seen him for a few years, uh, so it's going to be good to catch up. Um, yeah, he's got a you know wealth of experience here, um, playing here in Pakistan. Um, you know, PSL, he knows the venues quite well, so that's going to be really helpful. And just having a um, and yeah, just having another you know pair of hands around training um, is always great, great fun for the group. So good to see him again. Um, in terms of the preparation, uh, yeah, we, we kind of we, we knew this is. Yeah, what the lead-in was going to be. 
Um, so we, we thought we could you know, achieve a lot of it back home. Um, so we had a really good week in Melbourne, had some really good specific uh, sessions. Um, I think it actually rained here in Islamabad the last three or four days. So um, you know, luckily we, we probably got more work in back home than if we, we ended up coming here early. But um, you know, we had spinning wickets in Melbourne, we had reverse swing um, you know, bowling sessions. Uh, we felt really well suited, one quick flight and we're here and we're feeling fresh. So um, yeah, it's you know, perhaps not as long as some other tours, but we think four, four good days of training will be right. Thank you. Brendan from 10 News, please. Good afternoon, Pat. I've got questions. The first one quick. Um, have you ever been in Pakistan before? No. And the second one is you're talking about remaining relent during the Ashes. Does that how does that change at all between an Ashes series, which a lot of focus is on, compared to an overseas tour, and especially playing Pakistan? Uh, I think it's probably more the style of cricket um, when we talk about that. Um, you know, we we had three Test matches. I think that went for three days. Uh, this this Ashes series. You know, I'd be surprised um, if some of these test matches were that short. Um, you know, over here the conditions can be quite flat. Um, at times you can have periods of the game where, um, you know, it's not moving very fast. Um, and then other times it can speed up, you know, especially late in the game. So I think it's just, you know, whatever our discipline is, uh, whether it's batting or bowling, it's just, you know, making sure we're in control of the tempo, sticking at it. Test match crew gets five days, so make sure we're up for the grind. Clint Stanaway, please, Channel 9. Okay, just one more from me. Um, Rod Marsh's family has just issued a statement to say he's in the fight of his life. What's your, been your reaction to, obviously, that news? And, and no doubt he's in your thoughts and the teammates' thoughts. Yeah, I have, haven't seen that statement. So that's, um, yeah, no, that's difficult to hear. We're, we're just obviously really feel for, um, you know, the Marsh family, Roz, and, um, yeah, the kids. And, yeah, just, you know, the legend of our, of our game, someone who's done so much for our sport and, you know, a mate, someone that's, you know, looked after us well, just, yeah, obviously wish, wish him all the best. And, um, yeah, it's just a really tough situation. Jack Painter, please. Hey, Pat, um, I was going to ask about uh, forward as well, um, but so I guess on that, is there any biosecurity arrangements that you know of with him coming into the squad from the PSL and will he be with the, with the team by the time the first test starts? Uh, yeah, I'm sure there will be biosecurity um, yeah, protocols. I don't know exactly what they are, but yeah, no, absolutely. Um, he will need to, um, yeah, either kind of link straight in from that bubble in, or have a few days or something. But not, not quite sure. Tim Miller, please. G'day, Pat. Thanks. Um, we saw over the summer, uh, and you talked about um, Steve Smith having a lot of influences as vice captain on you. Given it's your first overseas tour in charge, do you think you'll have even more of an input from that perspective? This series? Oh, yeah, we'll see how it goes, but I'll certainly be leaning on him. Um, you know, he's played a lot over here and, and also captained, um, you know, a lot here in the subcontinent. So, um, you know, absolutely, I'll be leaning on him, um, you know, especially out in the field, field placements, you know, for, for spin bowlers. And um, he's got a different view of the game from, from first slip as to what I might have. So, for sure, I'll be leaning on him. Thanks, Pat. Uh, Zach Gates, please. Yeah, g'day Pat, all the best uh, for the series, mate. Thanks. Um, obviously you're playing in different conditions and you know, you're still early in your captaincy career. How, how do you think you're going to go from a patient's point of view um, you know, out there for five days um, you know, on presumably pitches that are a little bit more docile? Um, you know, it might not be so easy, for instance, for you know, Scotty Bowen to steam in and grab a bag of wicket. So um, how important will will it be for you as captain to be patient? Yeah, that's test cricket. Um, you know, you got to expect that it's going to go for five days. Um, you know, I feel like this summer, um, yeah, it wasn't as um, taxing physically as, you know, previous summers just because we didn't play. Not every test went to five days. Um, but, you know, the majority of my career, that's what I feel like I've, I've played. So, um, yeah, I feel, feel well-equipped. Uh, well um, you know, it's only 90 overs in a day, so just... Yeah, I'll tell you, take it one, one day at a time, but um, yeah, it's certainly something to be conscious of and we want to make sure we're the team that can, um, you know, can, can outlast the opposition. Um, last question now, Dan Bredig again, please. Thanks, Brian. Um, Pat, just one about, um, you know, the, 
there's obviously been an enormous amount said about you know team environment over the past sort of five six months. Um, how much I suppose is actually being in Pakistan, being away from home, playing a test series in unfamiliar conditions. I mean, how much is that? I suppose the litmus test that um, you've got the right environment where players are going to are going to perform in unfamiliar conditions and are going to make those little you know five ten percent um, improvements that they're going to need to make to uh, to win. Yeah, you know, I really hope so. Um, it's, it's a weird one because these tours where you're stuck in a hotel room, um, it, it can kind of go one or two ways. But I think with this group we've got, everyone's so keen. Um, even just the first hour or two that we're here, we're, people are already setting up coffee machines and um, PlayStations and cards and all the all little things that they've packed to, um, to make an enjoyable time. Um, it's got a really good feeling about it. So, um, yeah, this is a really good test. You know, don't get any more foreign conditions to Australia than, than coming to the subcontinent. So, um, I hope so. Um, yeah, it's got a great feeling. So, see how it goes. Just got a couple of extra ones uh, thrown in. First of all, um, Barat, if you're there, please. Uh, cheers, Brad. Uh, hey, hey, Pat. Uh, uh, just about the flight itself. Uh, is there any fun story, anything at all? Like, long flight? Uh for you guys and a bunch of cricketers on one flight can lead to some fun stuff generally? Uh, normally for the on the way home, Barat. Um, yeah, this one was pretty tame. Uh, yeah, a couple of hours, try to stay up um, till about one or two o'clock and then we all crashed and woke up at four or five o'clock in the morning when we arrived. Thanks. Zahid, please. Uh, first of all, Mr. Captain, welcome to Pakistan as my uh, many colleagues here. As a cricketer, what is the message to the uh, fans of the Australian team and the cricket-loving uh, nation? And secondly, what was the reason behind why your white ball player did not uh, uh, want to play to Pakistan other than IPL? Yeah, I think to, to all the fans, just um, you know, I probably don't have to say anything because I've seen how excited they all are. Um, you know, back home in Australia, as soon as the Ashes finished, they were talking about this series, it's on a really good um, time um, for Australia as well. It's kind of afternoon into evening, so there's going to be a lot of support and a lot of um, a lot of interest from from back in Australia, uh, which is great. Uh, in terms of the white ball, you know, it's a really packed schedule. We're, we're playing 15 days of Test cricket in the space of 20 odd days, going straight into three one days. Um, so I think if that that was played in Australia or anywhere else in the world. I don't think you'd see the fast bowlers probably playing them anyway. It's it's too big a workload um, in what we know is a, a 12 month a, um, a year assignment as an international cricketer. So um, yeah, it's just the the nature of the the um, I guess the schedule. Durab uh, Nakvi, please. First of all, uh, welcome to Pakistan. And I uh, hope this, this tour is going to be uh, memorable for you people. Uh, I'm a Pakistani uh, sports journalist. Uh, and my question is, uh, did you people just to play cricket here or to explore the culture of Pakistan? And the other question is, uh, what's a warm message from you people to Pakistani fans cricket after the tragic situation of New Zealand's cricket, uh, the tra tragic uh, moment? Uh, what the message you people uh, give to Pakistani cricket fans? Yeah, I think to the first um, question, um, yeah, I mean, we are quite restricted in, in what we can do um, here, but no, absolutely, I'll, I'll want to try and learn more about you know, Pakistan. I've never been here. Um, you know, I've got, you know, we've got some players here who have really strong connections to Pakistan, Usman, um, Farwad. Um, so absolutely, I'll be leaning on them um, and trying to learn off them. Um, yeah, in terms of the second uh, question uh, about the fans of New Zealand, yeah, it's, you know, it's unfortunate. Um, can totally understand why New Zealand made that call. So, um, yeah, it's unfortunate. Hopefully, um, yeah, there's, there's no reasons why ours you know, should be that affected. Everything seems to be taken care of and going great. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can just concentrate on the cricket. Last question now. Uh, Zach Gates, once again, please. Um, yeah, no, Joshy, Joshy's not injured. Um, he's all good. Um, yeah, it's going to be a tough one. Um, 
yeah, Scotty Boland came straight in, bowled fantastically. We know how good Joshy is, Starkey. Um, yeah, you think of, the, of those, you know, us four quick bowlers that you can only probably pick three. Um, so yeah, I'll leave that to the selectors. It's going to be some tough calls. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of one of the, the blessings of, you know, having 15, 16 guys who have all performed recently and done fantastically well. There's going to be uh, some unlucky um, decisions made, but um, yeah, that's professional sport. Thank you very much, everyone, and thanks. 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 Than